My name is Lola Young and I'm an independent member of the House of Lords and I'm pleased to say I'm an ambassador for the World Reimagined. I'm Mark Miller. I am Head of Programme and Practice at Tate Modern. You can be educated in such a way as you see yourself as this kind of cog in a, in, you know, in a huge machine that is insignificant, but also that that machine is kind of enclosed in a funny sort of way, so you don't see outside of that. And I think it's really, really important to be able to situate ourselves within a bigger, 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 bigger world. And I think art's absolute perfect way mm. of, of people learning through doing and through, as you say, reflecting on who they are, where they are, and what their place is in this kind of bigger mm. world. You have this, these moments of a positive disruption. We learn through our everyday experiences, through our everyday relationships, through our ever, everyday relationships and connections. I could have a conversation like we're having a conversation now, and I can completely shift my thinking. And for me, that's like the important thing about learning is just that kind of openness and ability to disrupt and exchange and change, you know. My view on it would be that we're kind of uh, diminished as people if we don't have an understanding of otherness, other people, wherever they might be and what their histories might be. And if we think of um, the past, the past is unchangeable, right? But people who say you can't change history are wrong because history is always changing. And it's partly changing because we're acquiring new knowledge and new understanding and a variety of perspectives coming on board. As many people have said, black British history is all of our histories. Yeah. So if you, and, and somebody once used that, that, that analogy of, of saying that British history by and large was like a huge tapestry but with all the black threads taken out of it. So it's like reinserting those black threads into the tapestry so that you get a really multi-dimensional uh, view of, of, of what, what our history is. The dislocation of a lot of these histories kind of dislocate us as well if we don't understand it. And if we're not asking uh, the right questions, we're not going to find the right answers. The arts are a really good way of thinking through some of these tangled problems and challenges that we're trying to get to grips with, as is history and heritage and the way we think about the past, how we frame that past, how it needs to be reframed, and, and, and so on. Art is a space where we can share dialogue and exchange and, I suppose, release ourselves potentially from some of the constraints that hold us in our, in our society. In order to reimagine something, you need to understand what it is first. I thought the world was equivalent to the earth, but when you check the definition, the world means all of human activity. It's not about the physical globe, but about the physical nature of humanity. I guess that's where I've been going wrong. I've been trying to reimagine the world on my own, but it doesn't belong to me. You're not an ink drop on this lonely narrator's tongue. If I close my eyes this time, will you promise to come with me? You see, a dream is like a cloud, it's deceptively heavy. The imagination is far too vast for one person to explore. So come with me, whilst I try to reimagine once more. To reimagine means to take a mental picture, to take something that exists and put it in a different context, like a Benin bronze in a British museum cabinet. See, I don't really want to make mistakes of the past. I want to make compost of inherited hate and circular debates frustrate my fears until they're surpassed. So I guess that's where the re bit comes in. Re means to go backwards and start again. For too long, we've been singing a song of denial and discomfort. Tonsils thronging with the discordant sounds of a legacy gone wrong. We all make mistakes, but when you make a wrong turn, you can't keep driving straight, looking for change. So put me off. I won't be fueled by misguided pride and polished shame. I can no longer close my eyes when there's so much work to do. Put the nose back on the sphinx. Take the myth out of Timbuktu.
I want to reach down the back of the sofa of this society and fish around for all that loose change. Like Aloda Equiano to slavery's abolition. Samuel Kodred Taylor to the classical music composition. Princess Sophia Dilip Singh to the suffragettes. You don't have to go far to see how easy it is to forget. No wonder my eyes don't want to invest in frivolous fiction when there's so much fact waiting for its recognition. I thought I could fix things by simply asking you to join me in the dark room of humanity, but photography, it's not a row of negatives waiting to be seen. It's about exposing what has already been. To reach the unknown, you have to retrieve, recall, rewild, reinstall, repurpose, repair, go back to the beginning, start again, but now do it with flair. The world reimagined is a lotus bud waiting to unfold. The world reimagined is bubble bath in the hands of a five year old. The world reimagined is our story untold. And telling it won't be easy. But that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We can turn fossils into plectrums, reject all that humdrum stuff fed to us without question. No suggestion that the truth is a spectrum. If you're the billing wall, I'll be the graffiti. If you're a scroll, I'll be the words of Rumi. Because there's no song outside of our vocal range. If I set my mind to it, my voice is louder than climate change. So take a step back. Use what's there. Make it new. Duchamp's masterpiece Fountain was an upgraded loo and it was actually discovered by a baroness called Elsa, to be completely honest with you. Like a Rorschach image, we all start from the same place, then come out with different perspectives and where we've gone wrong in the past is our failure to respect this. The world we imagined is a gallery of things we were not sold. The world reimagined is a humble alchemist's gold. The world reimagined is our story untold. I want to create a world where everybody treats each other equally and looks after the environment. Hello, my name is Chelsea and I live in Birmingham, England. I want to create a world where people feel safe to express themselves and live freely and the experiences of global communities are preserved in balanced narratives. The world reimagined. Hello, my name is Zanara and I'm from Birmingham, England. I want to create a world where we are able to celebrate the beauty of each other's differences, to respect, tolerate and accept each other for who we are, to create a world where racial equality is a standard and empathy is a norm, where we are educated about black history, the world reimagined.